going to split this division up to be 5 over x minus x squared over x so that I can simplify the x squared over x will just be x. I can now integrate each of these terms. The 5 over x will integrate to be 5 ln x. The x will integrate to be 1 half x squared. The upper limit, substitute that in, so we'll get 5 ln 4 minus a half 4 squared. Substitute the lower limit in, we'll get 5 ln 1 minus 1 half times 1 squared. The 4 squared is 16. Half of that is 8. ln 1 is just 0, so 5 times 0 will be 0. 1 squared is 1 times by the minus a half is minus a half. So 5 ln 4 minus 8 minus minus 1 half. The minus 8 plus 1 half is minus 15 over 2. The only other thing I might do is the ln 4, I can simplify that because the 4 is 2 squared. And I can then bring that 2 to the front to be 10 ln 2. Similar idea, let's split this fraction up to be 6y over 3y plus 1 over 3y. The 6y over 3y, or the y's will cancel out, and we'll get 6 over 3, which is just 2. The 2 will integrate to be 2y. The 1 over 3y is the same thing. I could think of this as being 1 third times 1 over y. I know the 1 over y will integrate to be ln y. And I've got 1 third ln y. Now I'm going to put the modulus sign in here. Because I'm going to be substituting in these negative limits now. And I know the logarithm is only defined for positive values. So I need the modulus signs take the positive values of them. Substituting the minus 1 in. Now substituting the minus 2 in. Right, the 2 times the minus 1 is minus 2. The modulus of minus 1 is just 1. And then ln 1 is just 0. So a half of 0 is 0. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. ln of uh, the modulus of minus 2 is plus 2. So we get 1 third ln 2. 
tidying this up then. So we've got the minus 2, the minus minus 4, so a plus 4, minus the 1 third ln 2. And the minus 2 and the plus 4 will give 2. And I think that's probably as simple as we can leave that answer. We're going to split the division up into three terms. The 4r squared over r squared minus the 3r over r squared plus the 6 over r squared. These r squareds will cancel. This r will cancel with one of these r's on the denominator. Now, there's no cancellation over here, but I am going to rewrite this r squared from the, um, uh, on the denominator. I'm going to move that to the top with a negative 2 power. So I can integrate that term easily. The 4 will integrate to be 4r. The minus 3 over r will integrate to be minus 3 ln r. And the 6r to the minus 2 will add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So that 6 is going to become a minus 6. Substituting these limits in. Before I do that, I'm just going to put this 6r to the minus 1. I'm going to put that back on the denominator because I find it easier to substitute in then. Substituting the 3 in, so we get 4 times 3 minus 3 ln 3 minus 6 over 3. Substituting the 2 in. Four times three is twelve. Six over three is two. The twelve minus the two is ten. Four times the two is eight. The 6 over the 2 is 3. The 8 minus the 3 is 5. And let's combine these together. So 10 minus 3 ln 3 minus the 5 minus minus, so plus 3 ln 2. 10 minus 5 is 5. And I'm just going to rewrite these logarithms. So I've got the positive one at the front. So that it allows me to use the laws of logarithms a little bit more easily. So because I've got a subtraction here, I can divide on the insides. So I'll get ln 2 over 3. And there we go.